the Apollo 20 videos. This is a forensic analysis of the Apollo 20 videos as seen on YouTube. We will be exploring the facts and speculation of this video in an attempt to verify its validity and origin. We will be seeing clips from the original videos which shouldn't constitute any copyright infringement unless somebody like NASA is willing to come forward and claim that they own this video. So this clearly falls under the fair use statement. A quick summary of the original story. Allegedly NASA launched a secret Apollo 20 mission to the moon to investigate what seems to resemble something man-made laying in a crater on the backside of the moon. It is speculated that this is a spaceship. It looks more like it's made of stone or rock and hand carved by somebody similar to what we see in Stargate, which represents the alien technology. Let's watch a bit of this video, and examine what we see first. We see several gauges, and several switch panels. We see a hatch, or compartment cover, with an Apollo 20 patch, and a half Russian and half American flag tape to it. The beginning of this video matches up with what we should see in a real lunar module. Supposedly, the body of a woman was retrieved, which is allegedly 1.5 million years old. It appears to have been brought on board the lunar module. At first, it appears to be frozen. After some poking and prying at it, and after some thawing the weird splints that were attached to her eyes and mouth apparently had been removed. At this point it seems her face must still be elastic, because her mouth is now mostly closed. Let's watch a bit more of the video, and examine what else we see. We see orientation of the horizon gauges, and several switch panels. We see a window, and then a second astronaut. After some digital comparison to a real photo of Leonov, it seems this astronaut's facial features are correct and seem to match up with Leonov's face. He zooms outside through the window, and we see equipment on the surface of the moon casting shadows. There are apparently landed on the moon. The movement of the camera seems like it's scripted. I say this because, here they have an alien female on board, and yet the camera person finds the control panels and moonscape just as compelling to film as if they are trying to convince the viewer that they are, in a real lunar module. We see a body of a female. But more important, we see several switch panels. Now let's examine the interior of the real Apollo Lim, or lunar excursion module. Here are images of the LIM interior. Notice something familiar? All the gauges and switches are absolutely correct. There is at least four ways I can think of to do this. 1. They mocked up an exact replica of the lunar module. 2. They snuck a clay mannequin into a museum and then manage to get it and themselves inside the lunar module exhibit. 3. They manage to gain access to the sound stage and props where Tom Hanks filmed Apollo 13, or the sound stage of the 2011 movie, Apollo 18. 4. Or it could be real. The evidence seems clear. Only you can make your own choice. Arm yourself with knowledge.